Greetings, fellow crafters. Tis I, your Hello Queen. Welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. Uh, today, I'm going to go ahead and kit up Treasure Studios Art Painting. I've been calling it Rainbow Cheshire Cat. I don't know if it has a different name. Let's take a look. This is the image. Rainbow Cheshire Cat by Anthony Cristo. Yep. It's done by Treasure Studios Arts. It's in a square. I'm doing this for Shaleen. It's coloring Shaleen's uh, Alice Long. I'll bring you right back and we'll get it started. Okay, I think I am going to be forced to hand draw my symbols this time. Because I can't find any scotch tape in this house. I'm sure it's somewhere. Someday I'll clean. Today's not that day. Tomorrow's not looking good either. <laughs> These are all done in baggies. I could conceivably do them in baggies. I don't want to, though. If I can get away with it, I don't want to. Okay, so let's pull this one up first. 37.50 is an hourglass. Thirty-seven fifty. I'm going to use this 60 bottle case because I can. I like these bottles because I just emptied this one it is largely the reason and most of mine are currently in use for projects elsewhere. I am paring down on the number of projects I have on the go. Slowly, but I am. Okay. I may label up second bottles. I'm going to see, but for now I'm just going to stick that over there. 728. 728. Is it Q? Capital Q. Center. Oh well. So yeah, I am trying to get everything under wraps. I had an interesting experience today. Apparently everybody orders from Amazon because of course they do. I had two things that were coming in today, a package of magnets. I had bought magnets earlier, but didn't really look at the dimensions of them. And they were the teeniest little <laughs> things. I wanted them for like cover minders and stuff. So I ordered some that were more the kind of size you would look for for that. And I also ordered a couple of those magnetic poster frames because I just finished um, Mama Knows, which is now hanging up. I need to take a picture of that. Okay, so 502. 502. It's a big black hole. So I ordered a two pack of those frames because it was cheaper to do it that way. And I know I'm going to need more of them down the line at some point. So I've got her hung up temporarily with one. I do intend to trim the, it's, she's a 47 by 84. So I couldn't exactly get a 47 centimeter magnetic frame. So I got a 50 centimeter one. So I'm going to have to trim down the canvas so that it fits properly. 
and I want to paint the sides of the canvas. And I want to bling up the frame. But I've got it hanging up untrimmed in there for right now. Mostly to keep it up off the ground and to get it someplace where it's not going to get damaged. But when I went to open the door, there was a bubble wrap thing that was like, okay, that's the magnets in the boxes. It's got to be these frames. So I opened the box. And it's safety footwear. I'm like, what the heck? So I go take a look at the box a little closer, and it's for a neighbor across the street about 10 houses down. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. So I grab the closest tape I have to hand, which happened to be Halloween washi tape, tape the box back closed again, scrawl a note on, on the box saying, sorry, was delivered to the wrong house, opened before checking. and then gave it to my oldest to take up to the correct house and when she got back there was another Amazon box sitting at my front door reclosed with tech tape the, the kind of red tape that you use to seal vapor barrier with a penned note from a neighbor down down the street from me on the other side saying sorry open this box before looking was delivered to the wrong house so i'm like am the, the poor amazon driver's having a bad day today The other package was indeed my magnets. So, I don't know. I was just kind of struck by the ridiculousness of it all. <laughs> I'm not mad, it's just stupid. 3820 is a capital C. The ridiculous and the Canadianness of it all. Oh shoot, it's gone to the wrong house. Okay, well we'll just take it down to the right house. No big deal. So that happened. <laughs> Because we in Ontario are on lockdown. We are not allowed, we are not supposed to be leaving our house except if we're essential workers to go to work or to get medical care or groceries. Those are the only reasons why we're supposed to be leaving the house. We are locked down. We are not supposed to be moving anywhere. The problem that gets me is that most of us kind of were doing that already. And I'm not sure that the ones that weren't are going to listen to this any more than they were before without any kind of enforcement. And I'm not convinced that our police forces are going to be enforcing this at all. So this all seems like a whole lot of sound and fury signifying nothing to me, but whatever. I'm involuntarily housebound anyway with this agoraphobia thing so not great being required to not go outside sure fine whatever my brain already doesn't let me do that um, oh we're allowed to go outside to exercise but we're not allowed to gather in groups of five or more Or I think five or less is the cutoff thing. Four fifty-three. 
and that's my husband who's come home. I am going to go bug my husband find if he wants to have a shower before we watch WandaVision because that's all over YouTube and Mama needs to watch it before she gets spoiled. What was the thing in the other package? The frame. I know what was in that package, but what was in the other package? The magnets. Oh, right. And that one was actually delivered to the White House. Bathroom, 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 right Pull it into the craft room. You can sneak around the side there. You're skinny. Yeah, that's an advantage of being a skinny little bugger. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, daddy comes home means they kick, he, daddy kicks them off the TV, which means they come down to bug me. <laughs> so what am I doing next? Okay, let's try 316. 316 is W. Where'd my Sharpie go? It's right there. I'm blind. You're not blind. W. 316. And the hubby's coming downstairs too. Because everybody wants to come down and talk to me. Hello, uh, dear. No. I'm come down and talk to you. Okay, this is going to be loud. Okay, I have divested myself of the grounded one, the one busy with chores, and the one who makes loud noises. <laughs> so 316's in there, 351. I will probably break for a bit, possibly until tomorrow, to go watch WandaVision, because all of nerd YouTube is going apeshit over WandaVision. If I don't watch it, I will end up getting it spoiled for me. I have nerd YouTube, I have music YouTube, I have crafting YouTube. There are many different halls of YouTube. That's an H351. That's the color that Emily said she liked. It's kind of a corally color. Yeah. Yeah, let's tip that over before I put the drills in it. That's a good thing. We don't want to do it after. Me a very colorful painting. I'm about half done my wolf along. I have two sections done in my Heaven and Earth designs. I put Bright Sun up for now. I still have Hogwarts that I've put up. And when I go up and watch One Division, I'm going to work on my Christmas kitties, which is well overdue. But, okay. So 3803 3, 3. excuse me he is capital J I may eventually get a sticker maker and be able to use this without having to use tape, but yeah, it's not really holding my breath. Okay, I can go in there. I'll get you in there. This has got 35 colors. So, in theory, assuming I don't have a bag that has a bazillion of everything, I should be able to put all of this into extra bottles. 550 is a Tetris block. Or an upside down T.
I'm missing a couple of bottles from in here. They're probably kicking around somewhere. It's not a big deal. I think they're probably in with my uh, bottles that still need to be degonned. I will get to that at some point. I am not 100% sure where these labels came. Probably with one of the cases for bottles. Could be this one. Not really sure. But I have them and I'll use them up. Dishwasher? Yes. I came down here to get dishes. You did? Well, here. Let me give you some dishes. Okay, that's not... Let's not do that. <laughs> there we go. And can I, have I think you need to go back to your room. And can I have a Twizzler? Maybe after. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So I've got a bottle out. Let's see what these yellows are. 445. Nice bright yellows. made an enormous mess. Got a little bit of static going on because these things are climbing the sides of the bottle. Yay! Climbing. There we go. These ones, thirty six oh nine. Okay, thirty six oh nine. Is it capital Z or Z for my southern neighbors? I really think, I really hope, whatever your political allegiance is, that we have an abeyance of political drama for in the nearest future. I think that's a fairly universal hope, whatever side of the aisle you're on, the drama is getting quite wearisome. <laughs> downstairs that way Caitlin doesn't know it exists. Good luck with that. Considering she's the one I'm pretty sure who put it upstairs. 3766. Nice tealy color. 3766 is a diamond. Diamonds for diamonds. Nice. And the thing that makes this a lot speedier is that the dishwasher wasn't even running in the first place. I just had to continue loading it. Ah. Let's get another one for the next color.
So I haven't actually finished a TSA before. I still have bright some of them that I've put on hold. I'm going to see if I can get it back out again for February, finish it February. I'll be working on this one in the background and I just like making more work for myself. And look at the mess I am making. Those are trash drills. Okay, so that's in there. I'm trying to do too much. Is really what it comes down to. But I have till the end of March to finish this for Shalene's collab. So that gives me a little bit of leeway to just kind of pull it out every so often and play with it. The Haid requires a lot of concentration because you're count you're having to constantly count. Okay, so you're going over three and over two here, and yeah. So I'm only working on that in small doses. 826. 826 is this weird semicircle. with an extra line. Eight, two, six. We have a bottle. This is going to be one that there's going to be extras of. I'm going to put the bottle in the tray so that if some decide to leap to their doom, they're kind of contained. Okay, I have finished those in the two. Maybe. Okay. Actually, I'm going to be ordering supper so you can wait. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Mm hmm. Nice light blue. Maybe that one next. 3761 is capital B. 939, oof. That's so close to 310. I need lots of 939 for my heaven and earth designs, so. Thank goodness. I can't remember if it was 939 or 823, that there, one of them there wasn't anywhere near enough to cover what was in the design, and the other one, there wasn't any at all. Have you got 939 before? Oh, a ton. I said 939 almost every painting. It's incredibly popular. So the 823. It's like a shade bluer than black. <laughs> yeah. So. Is 823 in here? Yep. 823 is. Okay. So. Maybe I looked at that and went. Yeah, I should be fine for that. <laughs> I can't remember which was which, but yeah, one there, one did not appear in the Ice Castle one that I bought, and the other one did appear, but the number that was in there was nowhere near the number I needed. I'm like, that's fine. I have tons. <laughs> nine three nine is capital B. Is it like not many, like twenty? Oh no, it's it's a fair chunk. But you have tons. I have tons. You have tons of both. Um, Oof, 823, I need 3378. 3, and 939, I need 2844. 
I'm glad that they give you a stitch count. I used air quotes because it's more like diamond count. Yeah. There's my spreadsheet, Emmy. Yeah, it was 939. There was 540 in the Ice Castle kit. I need 2844. But look at, like, every painting has 939 in it. Like, every painting. But there, but there's probably some light ones that you picked up. Eight, like my I like my my wolf. Eight two three, I need three thousand three hundred and seventy eight. None were in the ice castle, but again, look, like it's in every painting. <laughs> the ice but, castle that was sadly uh, copyrighted? Yeah. That's what I was calling it before I found out it was copyrighted and had a name, which is Winter Wonderland. And I did that backwards again, and I don't need 939. And because I'm, I'm getting so confused. Oh, it's okay. I just love that sound. And you still have extras. I mean, that makes sense. But I have a ton. Can I see the actual canvas? Uh, I will have to get it out of the closet in the craft room. It's hanging up currently. Oh, okay. I thought it was near here. Yeah. All right. So that can go up there. Eight two five. An eight two five symbol is capital F. Yeah, so I have an order in with a new company called Grace Hill that does drills in Canada. Like, she's still kind of in the process of setting it up. It's not fully functional yet. But I ordered, I think it was 16 colors that I needed more than 100 of for the Heaven and Earth designs. I probably mean she buys a lot of paintings. Hmm? I probably mean she buys a lot of paintings because she has a lot of those colors. Well, I think she's ordering the drills separately, maybe. <laughs> she's getting them in the thousands. I don't think she's just pulling them from extra paintings. If she was, though... Oh, my God. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> Nine, three, zero. She posted about wanting to start out the business on the Heaven and Earth Designs Facebook group. So when she posted what the URL was, I went and I'm hoping I'm one of her first customers. She's been very communicative so far to let me know that she's got the order and it's being it's just about processed and filled. So Hey mom. I know I'm in the middle of it I'm doing right now, but once I'm done it, I would like to try out using your cross stitch thing as you, you, the one cross stitch project. I do. don't really feel like ordering you a blank canvas for you to for you to goof around with right now, baby. Okay. I'm trying not to order more paintings right now. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm out of storage. We have lots of other paintings for you to play with. I have that Pikachu. I have a cartoon Vader. We have another Cheshire Cat you could do. How big is a cartoon theater? Just curious. It's pretty small. Okay. I got it with you in mind. Okay. What color am I doing? I don't know. I haven't picked a color. Let's go 3865. <laughs> Are there any of these in this? No. Okay. I could add some. <laughs> <laughs> you have some. You could also add some rhinestones if you wanted to. I really could. I don't know that I will, but I could. Like maybe make the Judge Cat stand out from its surroundings a bit more? Maybe. That's one question that's bothered me for a while. Is the Judge Cat a girl, a boy, or what? Does it matter? Eh, true.
Like some of the characters in the games I I play aren't exactly like you could pretend that they're either girl or boy, or you could just pretend that they're gender neutral like some people. Aha! Tall fit in! Yay! Maybe it's 65 is a heart. Can I pick up the next card you do? Sure. That's purple one. <laughs> <laughs> it's Two pretty! Or Two or eight, and what's the symbol for it? It's that weird lozenge thing. Looks like a band-aid to me. Like a, a like the shadow of a band-aid. Okay. I happen to have chosen number two. There's a lot of this in has an empty time. Because it has all of the purples. I wonder why I like the image. <laughs> I really like this green color down, down here. Let's do that one next then. I like 911. <laughs> I was just watching some funny kids' 911 calls. It was pretty and cute. That's like an upright lozenge thing. That looks like a like a sliver, or whatever the heck they're called. Yeah. I don't know why, but this else. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> why is everything going everywhere? I'll hop it. I'll hop it. Those up. I should head the tray down. Some days I think I should get me a funnel. <laughs> They're sticking to your fingers. Yes, they are. <laughs> because I just pulled out three amazing dance moves in a row. My dance moves have been danced into an entire song, so I'm probably a little sweaty. Did you? Yes. Seven ninety eight. Seven, come on, seven, nine, eight. And the symbol for seven, nine, eight is a red angle triangle with the point in the upper left hand. Yeah, that's the easiest way to describe it. <laughs> is it just me or does four? 453 look like the symbol for 453 look like Saturn. Yeah, I already got that in here. Am I wrong though? It's, um, maybe I don't know. It's a ball with a stick in it. Yeah. Imagination. We has it. Oh my god, 803. <laughs> Do it, X! Alright. Very dark blue. I would suggest you put the tree. What symbol is it? It is. What? 803? That's what you picked. Your turn? <laughs> I think. Is that what that's supposed to be? That's what I've been calling it. <laughs> you turn. <laughs> oh, good. I know driving things. Why would you assume you know driving things? Mommy doesn't drive. Mommy. That is the worst you turn ever. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can understand what that's. So long as I know what it is, and I will have the uh, the schematics on the sides of the painting. I'm going. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a U-turn thing. Okay. Still a very full bag. This color pretty. Can we do that one next? Thank you. Reactor symbol. 
809. Reactivity symbol. Radioactivity symbol. Ha! Okay. Whenever I say reactor symbol, that's just what I'm used to because I play upon this. You're really good at drawing with that thing. Fine, fine, fine point. 809, the radioactivity symbol. I could try and force that to fit in, but I have a feeling that would be something of a disaster. So we'll just stick it there. Yes. Yes, you will. Okay. Cool. Pretty. Three seven two one. Kind of a brick red. Yeah. It's gonna say it looks kinda of like a rusty color, but brick red is an easier way to describe it. Three seven two one. And that is a Triangle like that. And that is my cue to go watch one vision. Yes. Let me finish this one up. Because the geek must comply. All right. For us, we're going to be gone for an hour or so. For you, just a second. Be right back. Okay, so one division is now watched, and I have a little bit of time before the game starts, so I'm going to try and get this finished up. Okay, so nine seven nine seven. Seven nine seven. It's a weird double triangle thing. So it's a isosceles triangle inside another triangle. I don't get it. I don't have to get it. As long as it's a distinct symbol that I can recognize apart from other symbols, it's all good. Treasure Studios Arts does have the interesting symbols I have discovered. But again, so long as they are distinct and easily visible, Bob's your uncle. Okay, 902, nice garnet color, 902, and 902 is X. That's fairly straightforward. Yeah, I'm sure these labels came with a storage system. I couldn't tell you which one. Possibly this one. One Division is interesting. If you are going to go watch One Division, I would suggest watching the Legends, uh, the Marvel Legends first, because the first two episodes of that, it's it's short, but it basically is just clips, sort of giving you an idea of where we left. Uh, Wanda Maximoff vision off before the start of one division. Sort of a refresher. That way you don't have to go through hours and hours and hours of video to get the salient points to figure out where we left those two characters off. So watch Legends, then watch one division. It's worthwhile. It's really cute. And there's something going on that they hint at, but they're not. You're not quite sure what it is. That's going to be fun to to. Uh, unravel. But the first two episodes are up as of today, which is the 15th of January. 
and that's going to be our new Friday ritual. Come home, quickly wash up, watch one division, and then play D&D. One, six, three, and that's M. Both WandaVision and the Disney Legend things are on Disney Plus. In case you were not aware, Wanda is Wanda or Wanda Maximoff or Scarlet Witch from the Marvel Universe. Uh, Vision is the robot creature that Ultron made that turned out to be a good guy. So we are going to do 3727. 3727 is on here, and that is Sosley's Triangle with the longest there. 3727. That is not the bottle that I'm looking for. I have kind of a migraine. I had it yesterday. It was bad yesterday. Today it's just kind of discombobulating. It's not quite... enough to stop me from doing anything. It's just sitting behind my right eye and occasionally sending out waves of pain. Lots of fun. Three eight three four. Three eight three four. And three eight three four is Y. fun set of characters. It's a fun show, but there's definitely more going on than is on the surface. But it dropped on Disney Plus this morning, so I've been seeing thumbnails of it. They explain this and do this and everything else. I'm like, no, shut up. I have not watched it yet. I must watch that with the husband. I do not need it spoiled. Thank you. So he got home. He works outdoors, so he's usually sweaty and yucky when he gets home. So he has this shower and then we watched one vision. And we did it out of order, and Brian and I were pretty clear on where the characters were left off, but the girls had forgotten some of the things, so they were a little surprised. And then we saw the Legends thing and watched that afterwards and went, oh, oh, that's, that would probably have been a good thing to watch before. <laughs> One division. Oh, well. Three twelve. Three twelve is G.
312. How many colors do I have left? I have two. Two colors. Eight two three and five hundred. So a dark blue and a dark green. Eight two three. And the symbol for eight two three is E. I hope we don't have E and F too close together. That could be annoying as hell. And five hundred. A lot of blue in the background of this one. Just bring that into frame again so you can see it. So the last two colors, and then I set it for the game. go in, I think. Yep. Okay. So, now we're going to rearrange this. Stick those back in this folder. This pouch I use for all my bags and all my cards and all my everything to do with kitting up and de-kitting. So, I know where everything is. All right, so now I'm going to have to put this in some sort of order that's going to make sense to me. Now with and I'm going to take a bunch of these out anyway. I have an A. I don't have an A. I do have a B though. Or I should. There's B. C. Should have a D. That's P. Where's D? Should have a D. There's D. D. E. I know I had F. There's F. H I don't think there's I in here anywhere. So we'll put J in there. Do I have a K? No K. No L. I do have an M somewhere. M M M M M M M M M M M M M Out letters Q P should be next P Y U Z X U, V, W, X, Y. Stick all those there. Okay. Now we have 
a bunch of weirdness. Let's get the triangles together because there's a bunch of triangles. Triangle, triangle, triangle. That's kind of triangly. Let's triangles work together, as is that. And that's three triangles put together. Yeah, there's not really rhyme or reason to this. Then I'm going to do weird dot things. Dots. It's kind of the dot thing. It's kind of the half sphere. And then we'll just put in some of these line work weirdnesses. Normally I do n letters, then numbers, then keyboard symbols, then I categorize the other symbols and stuff. Okay. So I am going to put I could do more bottles, but I don't think I'm going to need to. I'm going to put baggies in here. I have that. I'm going to have all the bag extra baggies in the front and have that for trash. And that I think we'll do for my Cheshire Cat, which I'm going to fold and stick on top so that I know exactly what this is for, since I have so many kids up. And that is going to do for my treasure cat. I will put these aside for use elsewhere. And Bob's your uncle. We're all set. Thank you so much for joining me. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.